now let us discuss about 4 bit binary to bcd code converter first let us see the two table uh, here we have three columns the first column represents decimal number second column represents input code here the input number is binary number uh, binary number is represented using four bits such as p q r and s yes. and the third column is bcd code bcd code is represented using five bits such as a b c d and e here the number has four bits so totally we will have two power four that is 16 numbers from 0 to 15 if you observe the first column we have 16 decimal numbers from 0 to 15 and here what is the input number it is a binary number in order to represent the binary number we are using four bits such as p q r and s here simply we are using 8421 notation we know how to represent zero zero means all zeros if you take four so four means zero one double zero if you take seven seven means zero triple one if you take 15 15 means all ones so we know how to represent uh, decimal number in binary notation now let us see about output code that is bcd uh, bcd bcd stands for binary coded decimal so we can uh, we can represent a decimal number in binary format uh, we know that we have 10 bcd numbers from 0 to 9 so from 0 to 9 these 10 are the bcd numbers okay uh, here for these combinations here the binary number this bcd number is similar to binary number only so 0 means all zeros if you see the last four bits all zeros 1 means 0001 2 means 0010 3 means 0011 4 means 0100 5 means 0101 if you take 9 9 means 1001 so from 0 to 9 the bcd notation is similar to binary notation only if you observe the last four bits so what about the remaining numbers if you take 10 if you take 10 10 is not a bcd digit okay why because we have only 10 bcd digits from 0 to 9 10 is not a bcd digit here we have two digits so one is one bcd digit 0 is another BC digit. In order to represent each BC digit, we must require 4 bits. So, how we can represent 1 in BC notation? 1 means 3001. So, likewise, 0 means all zeros. In order to represent each BC digit, we require 4 bits. Okay. So, for 1, 4 bits. For 0, 4 bits. Likewise, let us take the last number 15. Here also we have two BCD digits. First one is 1, second one is 5. In order to represent BCD digit 1, we require 4 bits such as 0001. Likewise, in order to represent 5, we require 4, uh, we, we require, uh, four bits such as 0101. 0, 1. We require 4 bits such as 0101. 0, 1. If we observe here, if we observe here, what are the first three bits? The first three bits are zeros only. If we want, we can write here X, Y, Z also. X, Y, Z, A, B, C, D, E. So, X, Y, Z for first three bits. If we observe uh, 10 or 15 or 11, if we observe any number from 10 to 15, if we observe any number from 10 to 15, any B, C number from 10 to 15, actually 10 to 15 are not B, C numbers. In order to represent each digit, we must require four bits. But here the first three bits are zeros only. Uh, instead of A, B, C, D, E, if you take X, X, Y, Z, then we have to write zeros in all the columns. So here what we are doing, here we are covering, we have to cover only once. There is no need to cover zeros. So if, if we have zeros, then, then there is no advantage to us. So that's why what we are doing is, we are simply neglecting the first three zeros. Why? Because even if we have zeros in the Karnov map, for x, y, z, if you take three more variables such as x, y, z, 
while simplification there is no need of all those zeros why because here we have to cover only ones so that's why it is better to neglect the first two three zeros okay but here we need this bit also this bit also the, the fifth bit also so that's why here we have taken a b c d e a b c d e so here for the numbers from 0 to 9 0 to 9 are nothing but b c numbers so here a value is 0 a value is 0 whereas for the numbers from 10 to 15 what is a value here we are considering only this bit 1 so a value is 1 for the numbers from 10 to 15 okay so this one is for these ones are for this one this one there is no need of these three zeros why because there is no need to cover zeros in the Karnoff map okay now let us simplify for uh, output bits such as a b c d e here we have four inputs whereas we have five outputs now we have to simplify expressions for a b c d and e whereas here we have four inputs so that's why four variable Karnoff map is enough here we have four variables such as p q r s so p q left hand side r s right hand side here we have four combinations such as 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 if we observe the first column a if we observe the first column a uh, here we have 1 2 3 4 6 ones uh, when the inputs are when the inputs are 1 0 1 0 so 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 the output is 1 next 1 0 1 1 the output is 1 next in all the last four combinations 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so we have placed ones so likewise if you observe b in b we have two ones so two ones are written in the corresponding cells 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 okay likewise we need to simplify c here we have 1 2 3 4 6 ones so already six ones are written in the appropriate cells uh, yeah yeah in c we have six ones in d also we have one two three four six ones so already six ones are written in the appropriate cells coming to the e we have we have eight ones so one two three one five six seven eight so eight ones are written in the Karnoff map now we have to perform the mapping if we observe a so what we can do we can make these four cells as one group uh, so what is the min term for this one 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 so one one means pq 1 1 means pq first let us simplify for a let us simplify for a so 1 1 means uh, pq uh, here rs values are changing so there is no need to consider them next we have to cover these two ones instead of making these two cells as one group it is better to make these four cells as one group why because if the group contains more number of cells then it should contain less number of literals okay so 1 1 1 0 second one is common what is second one p what is say i'm sorry one 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 zero first one is common what is first one p if you observe one 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 zero first one is common here what is first one r so p r so this is the simplified expression for a now let us see about b so we can make these two cells as one group one group let us write the min term for this one one zero one zero means p q bar p q bar one zero means p q bar if you observe 0 0 0 1 first 0 is common what is first 0 r bar so p q bar first 0 is common so r bar now let us simplify for c so we can make these four cells as one group so what is the min term for this one 0 1 so 0 1 means p bar q 0 1 means p bar q whereas rs values are changing so there is no need to consider them there is no need to consider them uh, next in order to cover these two ones we can combine these four cells into one group second one is common what is second one q what is second one q uh, if we observe these two cells first one is common what is first one r what is first one r first one is r uh, so this is the simplified expression for c uh, likewise let us simplify for d so we can make these four cells into one group so what is the min term for this one first zero is common what is first zero p bar yeah, 0 0 0 1 first 0 is common p bar uh, yeah if we observe these two cells first one is common what is first one r first one is common r next we can make these two cells as one group here 1 1 1 1 means <coughs> pq next if we observe these two first 0 is common <coughs> first 0 is r bar first 0 is common so r bar now let us simplify e 
so here uh, PQ values are changing so there is no need to consider them uh, whereas if you observe these two cells second one is common what is second one here yes what is second one yes so this is the simplified expression for this example so likewise we have simplified expressions so from these expressions we can easily draw the logic circuit diagram uh, very very easily if we have inputs like uh, uh, p q r s uh, p q r s what is the first one p q so let this input is p q r s so p second input is q so we need to perform under operation here the first input is p for the second term second input is r we need to perform under operation between these two we can perform r operation likewise we can draw easily for uh, by making connections uh, uh, likewise we can draw for b c d e also okay yeah what is the first one the first one is for a so likewise we can easily draw for b c d e also so this is about 4 bit binary to bcd code converter